a lot, there's a lot of kids here that are uh, in high school and thinking about college, and you're a professor at Middle Missouri College. If, if they wanted to do the most good in this area, what do you think they, they should, should all come to Middlebury College? <laughs> 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 Leave Michigan. All right. Yeah, no, I'll look. Um, the good thing about climate change is it's by far the biggest problem human beings have ever faced. So you can attack it from almost any angle. It doesn't matter. Figure out what you're good at. If what you're good at is psychology, then you need lots of people who are thinking about how to help change uh, human habits of mind. If what you're good at is you want to go be a minister and you're good at theology, then we, you know, we desperately need faith communities and churches and synagogues and stuff deeply involved in this kind of fight. If what you're good at is science and engineering, then great, you'll figure out how to build the next generation of wind turbines or solar panels. If what you're good at <coughs> economics and business, then you'll help us figure out how to build an economy that doesn't require growth all the time. And you'll figure out how to go run the kind of companies that put solar panels on every rooftop in Michigan you know, in the next two years. There's, no matter what you're good at, you'll be able to. And, and the other thing is, what you do during the day in your job is going to be important, but it's what you do it after your job and on the weekends like this that really count. Because what we need even more than we need professionals doing it, we need citizens doing the right thing. And being a citizen is a real, you know, it's not a job that most Americans take anywhere near as seriously as they should. Most people are like, oh, whatever, you know. Um, and when you say, oh, whatever, what happens is the guy with the most money always wins. Because rest assured, the guy who owns the coal mine or the tar sands pit or whatever, he's not saying, oh, whatever. He's working around the clock to make sure that everybody in Congress or whatever does what he wants them to do. Um, that's why we've got to organize and stand up. The good news is it's fun to be a citizen. Uh, this today is like an exercise in citizenship. It's hard work sometimes. You've got to you know, spend a lot of time getting petitions or you know, whatever it is, you know, Facebooking, you know, marching, making signs, whatever. But it's really rewarding work. I, I know a lot of people hate to Facebook and Twitter, so I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you describe yourself as a, a pessimist, but there's many climate scientists that are much more pessimistic than you. And I actually think that it's far, it's too late for climate change, that we're going to see 4 degrees C because of the feedback mechanisms that we've already kicked in. And, there, you know, there's enough debate on that. But I was just, I was just going to wonder, uh, when does the rhetoric change from top-down policy change to local mit mitigation, resiliency groups, and transition well, towns? So we do a lot of work. I mean, I, I read a book called Deep Economy some years ago, and it's sort of all about all this. And we need already to be doing lots of work. If we raise the temperature one degree, and that already causes big problems, and we've got to figure out how to adapt to it. But if we don't do all the top-down policy work, then the temperature's definitely going to go up four or five degrees, and then it's not going to matter how good your local community agriculture system is because the planet won't work anymore. We, last summer, you couldn't grow grain across the Midwest. It was too hot. That's with one degree temperature. Three or four degrees, that's, you know, that's, those summers are just going to get in line. So we've got to stop it. We'll see um, huge migrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, and we can't deal with that. So we've got, we got to do all these things. But, and since everybody I don't think we I think the best science, people like Jim Hansen, who I've known for years, who worked for three years, indicate that if we do everything right from this point on, we we're obviously already caused trouble, and there's going to be trouble, but we can keep it from getting completely out of control. If I didn't think that, I sure as hell wouldn't bother being here. Right. I'd just go home and, you know, uh, uh, Vermont's a nice place, and uh, <laughs> hang out there. You know? mm -hmm. um, but I do think we've got a chance, and especially and I, and, and I gotta say this with young people now, one thing I don't think is that sometimes people say, oh, it's up to your generation to, you know, make the change, whatever. Which I think is crazy. You guys will be a part of it, but it's actually up to, you know, all the generations that are actually here right now yeah. to together make the change as fast as we can. And it is the ultimate cop out to just say, well, we'll wait for you guys to come along. <laughs> we always sit down to make the change. Right. Exactly. So, no cop outs from any side. Young people really are, and, and it is good to know that young people are doing an amazing job. 350 just did this global training week in Istanbul, in Turkey. 
We had 500 young people from 135 nations, but they were out of uh, 5,000 and some young people applied to come, and we could only have 500. Um, um, these guys are now completely trained up, and they're back in all their countries organizing you know, local teams and doing all just the kind of work that people are doing here today. So this thing is spreading like wildfire, and you guys will be excited. When you, you know, a year or two now when you go to college, most of the colleges that you get to will have these divestment movements going on, to try and get the colleges to sell their stock in the fossil fuel companies. We've already won a few of these fights in the year that we've been doing it, and there's a lot more that will still be going on. It will be a great opportunity for you guys to dig in there, because sometimes college can be like a little bit of a bubble, you know, and lose track of the outside world. There's many, many opportunities.